Good morning. Uh, it's Tuesday, February 25th, and I've decided to to not work today. Um, I did have some calls, offers for employment, uh, but I chose to take today off. I didn't really know how my would, recovery would come. So this uh, this vlog today will be entitled the day after the bone marrow, uh, bone marrow biopsy and uh, because it's the day after the bone marrow biopsy. So um, that's what this will be called. Again, this, uh, this vlog now, it's apparently now, um, well, this is more a personal vlog than the classmate newsletter. Um, that I write. Uh, I think this is the way this is going to go uh, in the future, if if there's a future for this vlog. Um, it's it's really kind of convenient um, to do as opposed to typing and writing and thinking uh, about things. Um, I can just kind of ramble on and and do it this way. So this looks like the way we're going to go in the future. So anyway, uh, yesterday, um, after I prepared the day before the bone marrow biopsy blog, yep, another action-packed one today, um, I got a uh, text message, no, I got a Facebook message from David Foote, who... Uh, is enthusiastic about meeting um, to do a vlog so I really kind of looking forward to doing that with him my phone just uh, came on which means something's uh, going on um, so anyway uh, it's a uh, message from Marianne Pod one of our classmates she's very active on Facebook uh, very politically involved, a lot of really good political ideas. So um, I, I'm not so politically involved. Uh, okay, but anyway, uh, so uh, yeah, so David uh, David Foot uh, uh, is interested in doing an interview with me. He has a, a reason for doing that interview, and uh, I believe he's moving his mother, and uh, so we're going to be doing that sometime after March 9th or 10th, probably March 10th. So sometime after March 10th. So I asked him if he wanted to do it with Skype uh, video or audio, and he said he'd kind of like to do it the way I did the ones at the wagon wheel. So it appears what's going to happen is we're going to meet at his uh, office in Geneva, and, uh, and we'll do the interview there. We'll hopefully cover... Uh, the topic of uh, of uh, that he wants to discuss, and we'll discuss that later. And also uh, have him uh, more informally uh, tell us what's happening and what he's up to, and ask him some of my inane questions as I always do. So I look forward to uh, talking with David, and uh, and we'll do that. Then I also got a. Uh, I don't know if it initially was an email or I think it was an email from Gary George and he happened to be working um, out at uh, Hillcrest today or yesterday where I was going to have my bone marrow biopsy. So uh, I have to kind of think about that. It's kind of a mouthful. Um, anyway, so um, we discussed meeting uh, out there. And uh, that was our intention. And uh, it didn't happen, uh, but we tried. So he was working, and I was having surgery. Uh, so it just didn't work out. And uh, I'll discuss that more as this uh, vlog uh, uh, moves on. I do want to notice, I do want you to notice that, uh, that I have my Browns jersey on today. I want to discuss that. Uh, for those of you new to the vlog, maybe you've not heard my Browns jersey 
uh, theory or hypothesis maybe uh, that uh, it's good to wear a Browns jersey uh, because people will see you wearing it, they will think you're a Browns fan, and they'll feel sorry for you, and they will give you free food and beer. So that's that's why I always wear my Browns jersey, uh, especially out in public, uh, to get free food and beer. I like both free food and beer. So, um, <clears throat> all right, so enough of that. Uh, okay, so... Um, uh, on the way to uh, Hillcrest yesterday, I got uh, another phone call. Uh, I got a phone call in the car uh, from Hillcrest uh, setting up the next biopsy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so we're going to uh, do this again. This time it'll be March 10th, and it will be uh, those gross on the on the lungs I think is the way we're going with that so that will be a little more evasive uh, probably and a little more um, intense uh, you know will they'll knock me out for that one and I have to have a driver for that one this one there was really no instructions I just carried on as usual for the uh, bone marrow uh, biopsy so uh, so that one will be a little more intense. So they set that up, for, I think, for March 10th, something like that. So, yeah, yeah. If, if you're getting the impression that this is starting to suck, um, yeah, um, I think you have the right impression. Um, yeah, for sure. So anyway, so we, uh, we proceeded to... Uh, to uh, Hillcrest Hospital, and uh, got there early, and I immediately tried to get a hold of Gary George uh, to meet up with him. I, as I recall, he he didn't get my message right away, and I got there early, and they actually took me in early. So I, um, at my earliest chance, I let him know that they'd already taken me, and of course he wouldn't be able to reach me. So we went in and we did the um, uh, pre-surgery blood draw. Did that. Joked around with the nurse. And uh, so then it was uh, time. So we, they just, the surgery is just done in a, basically a, a doctor's office. So we went in there. Um, the doctor finally came in. No, I shouldn't say finally. He was, you know, it, there wasn't much of a wait. Uh, yeah, it seems forever when when you're the one that's that's being operated on, if, if you can call it that. So um, they came in and uh, answered some questions and got ready. So uh, the doctor came in. They just had me jump up on the on the uh, the, the bed there. They had had me face the wall and. Uh, Pull my. I wore sweatpants. In fact, I wore the same stuff I'm wearing right now. So um, they just had me pull my uh, sweatpants down in the back a little bit, and they went in through the left side, um, hip to the hip. And uh, so I definitely dressed appropriately for what went on. I did have to. At some point, I said it was pretty warm in there, and of course I'm probably a little bit more than nervous at this point and I said I've got to take this sweatshirt off or I'm gonna I'm gonna be roasting so I managed to take the sweatshirt off and uh, which was I'm really glad I did so anyway so uh, at this point <clears throat> I thought they would send Vicki out and they asked Vicki you know do you want to stay uh, and watch and she says uh, Stu do you want me to stay and watch and I said, uh, well, I said, that's your call. I, it doesn't matter much to me, you know. So she chose to stay and watch. And um, um, I'm going to tell you right now, if it had been her having the surgery and they asked me to stay and watch, my butt would have been out of there in a hurry. I, I don't watch that stuff. I, my stomach isn't, isn't that good. 
but Vicky, Vicky absolutely can can handle a lot more stuff than I can. Um, she's tougher than I am. I'm very sensitive, and uh, I guess she's sensitive too. But um, so she stayed and watched. Um, so you know they're going along and they're doing this, and they sort of sort of numb your above your left buttocks area with uh, what's that stuff called laticade something like that I, I don't know if it's too much unlike the stuff they use to numb your gums when you go to the dentist and that kind of thing but so they they kind of numb that so that when they give you the the pain shot or the 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 uh, the, the uh, what would that be the uh, anesthetic uh, shot it doesn't hurt so much so um, so it's kind of a I think it's a, a kind of a several layer operation so um, so they did that and uh, and at some point gave the shot they said it would pinch and burn and it did a, a bit I'm actually pretty good with pain even though I'm a very sensitive human being uh, I, I'm able to handle pain uh, pretty well. I guess I've had enough practice at it. So uh, anyway, so the procedure uh, continued. Um, yeah, there were a couple points uh, where he, he, there was much nervous anticipation. And one of those places would be when he started the drill. Uh, yeah, there's nothing like the sound of a drill when you're on the uh, operating table that, that, you know, there's just nothing like it. It's beautiful. So, uh, so it, it was uh, an interesting procedure. Um, so at, at points it hurt um, somewhat, but certainly nothing it couldn't tolerate. And sometimes it was like, okay, this hurts. Is it going to hurt more in a minute? And and so sometimes it was the anticipation of pain that uh, that that uh, you know got your attention. So um, so anyway, so at some point he, he apparently and I've not really talked to Vicky about this who watched it. So she she said she could actually do it uh, for somebody. So now she didn't say that. But she she's well aware of the procedure now, so uh, uh, she said, uh, uh, or or at some point they uh, they they take the bone marrow out uh, in a syringe. So I, I'm thinking they drill into the bone and then put this syringe there and suck up uh, bone marrow. Uh, into the syringe, and then they that's what they test. So, um, unfortunately for me uh, and and the doctor, uh, the doctor uh, dropped the syringe, and I'm thinking, you know, and I, I was aware of it, even though I couldn't really see what was going on. I'm facing the wall and not wanting to watch anything anyway, if I could. Um, he dropped the syringe, and so they had to clean up my bone marrow off the floor. And as it turned out, actually, some of it went on my wife's boots. So she had my bone marrow on her boots, which is semi-disgusting, I, I think. So anyway, so I'm thinking, what am I thinking? I'm thinking, uh-oh. And the doctor immediately, yeah, the doctor said he'd never dropped the syringe before. And at that point, I said, "Gee, I'm, I'm glad I was here for it. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know, you know, what else to say really. But I'm thinking, uh oh, are we gonna have to do this again? Isn't isn't once enough really? <laughs> so I, I hear them discussing. Uh, is there?" By the way, there's a bone marrow rule, apparently. If you drop a syringe of bone marrow uh, and you pick it up within five seconds, it's okay. 
you can go ahead and proceed and test it. So uh, I made that up. That's no, there's no, there's no rule. So, uh, but I did hear him ask the nurse or lab technician. Uh, I think there were a couple people in the room <coughs> that uh, you know, is there enough left to test? And uh, at some point, she said, "Oh, yeah, I think I think we're good." So, <laughs> so I, you know, it's like, oh no. So, um, so they, they get done with the procedure and, um, and somebody says something and I just started laughing my butt off. I mean, I, it was just like, I couldn't stop laughing and I don't know, I, I thought it was funny and I can't, you know, I can't remember now what they said, um, but, and I don't know if it was funny as I thought it was, or if it was that, that nervous energy burning off that, that hey, this, this procedure is over right now at this point. And, uh, but I, I just laughed so hard, I could, I could hardly stop. And uh, so, so they, they're, you know, they're finishing things up and everything. So the doctor um, was talking and... Uh, uh, I, I don't know if, I guess you would call him a surgeon. I think what he does is specifically, it might be exclusively bone marrow uh, extraction, if you can. So, uh, by the way, bone marrow apparently is uh, dark blacks, is what Vicky said. Uh, so, I, I don't know. But uh, anyway, so uh, the, the doctor um, was talking. And I was bannering with them and uh, the, with him and the nurses and the lab tech and this sort of thing. And and the doctors uh, I noticed had a thick accent which sounded Russian to me. So I asked him. I said, uh, and I'm still remember ask talking to him facing the wall. So I'm not seeing anybody. I'm just talking with with people. So I asked him, Doctor, are you are you Russian? And he goes. Uh, uh, no, he says, no, I'm not Russian. I'm trying to think of the country it comes from. I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, I might have to put this on hold because you really have to know what country he's from. To, uh, and I'm just drawing a blank this morning. So I'm going to put this on hold and see if I can find that out. 